So while initially on the dashboard, you're given the template projects or demo projects or whatever it is you want to start with, uh, it will actually load a new project in the background. So I can just click the X and away we go. So here I'm presented with the main arrangement screen. Uh, this is where your arrangement or musical pieces would go and your, whether it be your clips. So we've got an instrument channel here uh, for MIDI or VST instruments to play and we've got an audio channel by default here. Over on the left, uh, we've got basically this whole window is like a, a more information. So if I highlight the instrument track, then it'll show me all the details for the instrument track. So it'll show me any inputs and outputs. I can solo, mute or record arm and it'll show me colors and channels. So for example, uh, everything's color coded here. If I wanted to change that, I can change it. If I rename the track to whatever I want there, that's fine. And so this is where your arrangements would go. So if I double clicked here, it would input a MIDI instrument there and I can zoom out a bit and time moves from left to right. So if I hit play, then you can see the play bar is moving from left to right. Uh, so here I would have my channels. If I wanted to add channels, I can hit uh, Apple T and it'll load up new instrument channels. Or if it was Apple Shift and T, then it'll be audio channels. Over to the far right, we've got the browser and this is kind of sectioned off in two halves. So we have the upper half, which is the locations. And then the lower half is uh, the available presets or devices. So for example, I could narrow it down to just the Bitwig devices here or I can see waves here. So I could narrow it down to only the waves devices that I have, or I could have all, and this will show me all of my devices. So if, for example, I wanted to load Sonic Academy Anna 2 into my instrument channel, I can just drag and drop there and away we go. And as, as I have a MIDI keyboard in front of me, so I can just hit record arm and that automatically means that my MIDI keyboard is going to play that instrument. So if I play a few notes here, and then you've got another tab over here. So for example, I've got presets and devices. So if, for example, I wanted, uh, let me have a look at uh, a delay unit, then there's a few different delay units that Bitwig offers and say it was delay two, then I've got a bunch of presets here. Uh, so I could put in high diffusion, whatever that sounds, drag it on top of this channel and you'll see it load here. And this is your devices window. I don't think that preset needed much delay to be honest, but there we go. Then the next tab across, we've got samples. And again, uh, as I mentioned earlier on, Bitwig comes with an astonishing amount of samples built in, but you can easily drag and drop these into anything you want. So for example, uh, a clap over there and we can just drop it down and away we go. We've got some audio. Then the next tab across is multi sample. So this is for uh, sample based instruments. And then you can store whatever your music locations or iTunes or whatever, if you're looking to do, I don't know, DJ sets or anything like that, and you want entire tracks put in there. Uh, otherwise you've got clips for MIDI. And this can be handy for when you are on the mix window over here. Uh, so where, for example, if I just tab back to the arranger screen, you can see I double click to drop a, a MIDI uh, clip here. Equally, you can do this accidentally pressed record there. If I double click, it'll drop a MIDI clip in there. And then if I double click that MIDI clip, I can double click to put notes in that clip. And then you've got record buttons so you can record in individual clips if you want and then play buttons as soon as it becomes a clip there'll be a play button there instead 
and that offers you an opportunity to start writing tracks without kind of thinking about arrangement at any given stage so uh, i quite like to just sort of sit in this section sometimes just uh, maybe playing a drum beat on loop or something like that and then i can just start playing maybe the piano on top and just coming up with some sort of melody ideas and then when i'm happy and i can just hit you know if i've got a, a, a drum machine in this channel for example and a piano in this channel and i'm playing the piano i can just hit record uh, when i'm happy with what i've just come up with and then record that in as a loop without having to think about anything over in this arrangement screen on, on where where it's going as a song basically and then again you'll have in the information you can see there's more information when you highlight a clip so you can change the color of that clip uh, you can make it loop you can mute it you can apply shuffle and swing and accent to it uh, you can choose the play mode so it can just loop from the start or uh, continue on to the next one and then I think the only other screen to go through here is if I double click on an actual audio file you've got the edit screen here and this is where you can choose to stretch or change any audio events like pitch pan gain and so on and so forth uh, if you have any devices if I go to the devices tab uh, and for example I wanted to put that delay I mentioned earlier on onto that clap then I can double click on the clap and then I've also got an opportunity down here to automate any of these control parameters of any device that's contained within the software and then finally down here we have the master channel and here we have by default an effects channel so if again let's use that delay for argument's sake and I wanted to apply multiple channels to that delay uh, then I can add this delay unit to what's now called the delay channel and then I can highlight any channel at any point and send it to that channel like so and then finally we have the mixer section so again going back to the clip launcher I'm using the tab button to go between these two arrangement and clip launcher screens and then I can press D on my keyboard to show devices and then we've got a few extra bits and pieces we can have here so for example we can extend the VU meters so that we've got a clearer picture of what everything's doing and we've got the send dials here and of course the gain for our mixer where we can solo and mute and record our, our channels as we wish so I think that's basically everything you need to know about the uh, the basic layout or the initial layout of the software. Obviously, we'll go into more detail further on. I'll see you in the next video. Thanks, everyone, for watching. We really appreciate the support from you guys. If you liked this video, then, you know, smash that like button. And if you want to be notified about new content, hit the subscribe and the bell notifications. Peace.